Hi, I'm Charlie Krauss from VPlex Product Marketing. I'm going to talk to you today about running Microsoft applications on a Hyper-V environment, both with and without VPlex. So first, let's start with some of the powerful tools built into Microsoft environments that you can use to develop a high availability solution. So if you look at a situation with two different sites here, and we have um, our vir virtual machines running in each side, we have our storage, and the, the hosts are replicating the data across, and we're running Hyper-V, and that gives you two nice tools. One is called Hyper-V Live Migration. Live Migration allows you to take a virtual machine from one place and, and move it to another place and have it restart and run. There's also something called Microsoft Failover Cluster. What this, hap what this does is if one of these servers over here were to fail, it allows the application to restart on another server, either on this site or on another site. And these tools can work very well to give you high availability in case of certain failure modes. One of, the, one of the problems you have with this, though, is when you have a fail over and move over, the application has to move the data first, and then it can restart. And when it does that, it takes an amount of time. So depending on how much data has to be moved, it can take minutes or even hours before that restart takes place. But it, but it will restart and do that. And then when you deal with whatever problem brought this down, now you're going to fail back, and then you have to take you know, that motion again. So, you know, a good solution, but we can, we can do better. We can do better than that. So let's talk about adding VPlex to the mix. So you can see I have VPlex now in, inside these arrays uh, infrastructures now. And what, we're, what VPlex allows you to do is a really cool little trick. It allows you to have the very same data, read, write, accessible, in two different places at the very same time. So that means across these sites, any data that's read and written by the hosts is going to automatically appear on the other side. VPlex is basically taking that cluster and stretching it across so that data is always in sync across there. So what does that mean in case of a failure? So let's say we lose this site. Well, all the data that was on this site is already on that site. Failover cluster allows those apps to start, but now you're going to get just about near zero restart time because the data is already there and they just fire right back up again. If you use live migration to move a virtual machine, when you move it over to the other side, the data is already there and it can just start. So the users would probably not even notice any kind of a disruption in any of their availability during any of these scenarios. So this is pretty cool. So let's talk about some of the use cases that you can get from that ability. So we mentioned a site failure, which is really an unplanned downtime. It could be you know, power failures or a storm or something like that. But most of the time, you're not going to see issues like that. You see planned downtime. Your IT department, every periodically, monthly maybe, has to refresh things on their server. They have patches they have to install. They, they may be putting higher performance servers in. Uh, they may have storage that came off lease and have to put new storage in. And anytime they do that, they typically have to schedule time, usually evenings or on weekends, when there's less uses of these applications to make that happen. So, as you know, today, it's very, there's very few applications that don't really need access 24 by 7. So there's really never a really good time. Suppose we could talk about a solution that would allow these kind of scheduled downtimes be completely eliminated. So VPlex would allow your IT department, during the normal business hours, to move applications while they're running w with your users accessing them, make their patches or replace those servers, move the applications back, again, all while they're running, no disruption whatsoever. Move in new storage move the data over to it, all while things are running. So completely eliminate either planned or unplanned downtime absolutely forever. So let's review quickly some of the nice benefits we've just talked about. We've talked about active-active infrastructure. So when you have a passive site, you have a lot of resources there that aren't being used unless there's a failure scenario. So it's really nice to have both of these active at the same time, much more efficient on your usage. You have automatic failover or with near zero RTO. So in the case of moving this over during a disaster, they start up almost instantly, very, very rapidly. You're not using any host-based uh, resources to move your data over. So you can, use the, you can keep those uh, CPU cycles in running their applications, which is what they're designed to do. We've talked about eliminating planned and unplanned downtime forever. And this is probably one of the, you know, your IT department will love this more than any other buddy, anybody else or users in your company. And then lastly, your high, high availability requirements for mission critical applications, SharePoint, Exchange, et cetera, will have now not high availability, but something much better, continuous availability. That means everything's up, 
never down. If this sounds like an interesting solution for you to explore, contact your local EMC rep or a reseller or whoever you do business with, or visit us on emc.com. Thank you.